lost my sponsor. I used to be sponsored by Marathon Bar. Really? I did. All those are free. I used to get cases of them. Oh, wow. But then they stopped the program because we were too awesome. And, uh, That's yeah. the main reason. Yeah, I mean, it's mainly what it was. They had some other... There's some other reason. There was some other reason they that gave... That was the one that made sense. Well, there's, they, gave a, they gave a different reason, but, I mean, it was pretty clear that it was unfair to the other competitors because... We were doing You're so well. already doing so well. Right. They need to take something away from you. Right. So they take away my free food. Yeah, to level the playing field. Yeah. Couldn't they have just like broken one of your legs or something? That would, yes. $75 a month for, so. Yeah. What's up, guys? Not much. I'll keep that in mind. What are we doing this weekend? <laughs> Trying to get lost. <laughs> Trying not to get lost. Exactly. <laughs> Trying, Trying not, to not to die. That's right. Speaking of, a friend of mine did these races, and he's almost had kidney failure, so. Wow. Well, that's what he did it. It was what more What did like he do? Thanks for the, uh, the confidence there. Well, it's 24 hour, and he's kind of like, doesn't listen to his body, because he's doesn't doesn't ridiculous. Doesn't drink water? Well. So we're drinking water this weekend, though, right? That's right. Lots of water. Kelly. And I can't wait to get on the road again. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. We're talking about not running marathons for the experience because they hurt. <laughs> so what what would you guys say? What what is your reasoning for running this one? For for doing this adventure race? Because this is this Why is are we doing amount, the adventure yeah, race? I mean, this um, is a decent amount of, of yardage that you'll be in. Yeah, but it's, it, I mean, it's more, uh, it's uh, just a multi-discipline. I mean, it's just, it's fun, right? I mean, yeah, right. you don't really, you don't really know what to expect. I mean, doing different events. It's, it's, yeah, different events. It's kind of a mystery. A don't know where A marathon is linear. A marathon is run from this point to this point as fast as you can, and all you're doing is running. So the whole thing is just, so it's very, you know, it's very monotonous and it gets painful because you're trying to do it as fast as you can. This, you're changing disciplines and changing the activities that you're doing and the stress you're putting on your body. Um, and so much more if it's mental. And that's my biggest, my biggest part is mental. Plus, Andy's doing it and I want to beat Andy. <laughs> For everybody out there that has no idea what an adventure race is, um, can, can you kind of describe, explain like what goes into it or? We well, have three, there's th typically three elements, right? You have the, the, like the running, trekking part, you have the mountain biking part, and then you have the paddling, which could be kayaking or, or a canoe. So it's kind of like a triathlon. Kind of, yeah, you can think of it as kind of an off-road triathlon somewhat, right, with the three different types of events, but you also have an orienteering element, right? So there's no set course. You're, you have a map, you have, a, you, have a, you have rules you have to follow, and then you have to, your team has to figure out how to get as many checkpoints as you can in the least amount of time and then make it back within the cutoff time. Otherwise, you're, otherwise you're disqualified. Okay. So you can get a DNF after eight hours of work. That's typically the case. Sometimes some races they'll... Yeah. We got a DNF by... We did. Five minutes in, in no Kelly. We finished in eight, eight hours we and five minutes. We still got an award. Because we're the only ones that finished. Do you get your money back if you get a DNF? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> They make you pay extra. There's a fine. Yeah. But it's fun. All right, so we're trying to get to the spot where we're going to be doing the adventure race, which is, you know, large part orienteering where we have to be able to read a map. Um, we were supposed to be going here to that red marker right there, which should have, we should have gone 575. Um, somehow the GPS that we're using in, this, in the car took us up to 75 going towards Chattanooga, uh, Tennessee, not Georgia. Um, so we're a little bit worried that if we can't get to the race with GPS, how we're going to do when we get to the race and we just have a paper map. So I don't know, more on that later, but right now we're lost. So maybe, maybe, maybe the GPS is the best. GPS. No. It's definitely. It's not our fault, though, right? Oh, it's clearly no. not our fault. No, it's, no, it's, it's, it's the. What is this? A Garmin or a Garmin? I write to contact. So this is a video. This is a video review for the Garmin. Yeah, it, it sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Update your software frequently because yeah. they've moved Blue Ridge.
Oh no. I think we're lost again. We're lost again. We suck at this. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is making music with my friends. So I think we're in the right place. We forgot our number. So we kind of we got lost from we got lost. there to there to there. Okay, We're gonna do great. Are We're doing great. Rainbow dog. Ra rainbow dog. I am a rainbow. Dog. We're, We're dog. team rainbow unicorn. Awesome. So, Coach Laura Batista, how far along pregnant are you? Fifteen weeks. Fifteen weeks. And you're gonna be doing the race day. You're not supporting, right? I'm supporting. No, you're not supporting. You're doing the race. This is my support <laughs> team. This is the support team. Yeah, I'm gonna help him. That's what after the race, right? So wait, Sean, David. So you guys, you guys have three people supporting you. That's not fair, yeah, exactly. right? Exactly. You guys setting bear and traps. The best cheerleaders. So if uh, <laughs> if we get to see them on the race often, it'll be awesome. Boost moral boost. <laughs> Andy McCann. About to come in third place at um, the Blue Ridge Adventure Race. <laughs> <laughs> CrossFit Garage. That's right, I stole the name. Right? I like that. It. They're bummed out because they couldn't use it. We were very bummed yeah, out. Yeah, we tried. Alright, do you need to go get our markers? Is that y'all's? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so big map, but we're not actually going to be using all that much. The race basically takes part in this section. Okay. I texted the Andy back until you got it. Oh, uh, okay. But I thought that one would look good. Don't you like Which that one, one there? Oh, oh, that, that actually... Bad? Yeah. Yeah. Andy, you think the garage is going to win this one? or? Yes, because we've already scoped out all the checkpoints. Have you? Yeah, so... Uh, is that what you are doing all night last night? or? <laughs> yeah. See that mountain up there? Yeah. That's where we start. So I went to get my passport, but I didn't realize they were up there. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, oops. are you 1625? Uh, no. Okay, they're still up there. So there's a path. There's a road to the house, a little right. driveway. Right. And then there was a path. It looked like you looked. Come on, we're like bringing the rear here. All right, man. Wish us luck. <laughs>
made it? Yeah, nine minutes. Nine minutes. So I guess they started ten minutes late, right? I guess that's what it was. Yeah, I guess it's so, actually I, past my, six. my watch says nine minutes left. Yeah. When I started. Well, how was it? What do you think? Oh man, I'm freaking right. I'm glad it's done, man. Another one under the belt. That's right. So what'd you do to uh, to get ready for this? CrossFit. Yeah. <laughs> that's about it. A little bit extra biking, maybe. Did you get a little bit? Passport? Yeah. They got it. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of biking and uh, just a gym, man. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. <laughs> Where'd y'all come in? Uh, we are in first place yeah. for the people who came in at eight hours. <laughs> eight hours and 15 ish minutes. Is that what it was? So it was like somewhere around there. Yeah. <laughs> so, what does that mean? Does that mean we didn't get all the checkpoints? Or? We got them all. We got, we got everything. All. We cleared the course. Cleared the course. That's got right. lost for a little bit as well. Yeah. And well, still. How does that so. Where does the other team? I didn't see you come in. You must have. We were hauling. Did you some, come in before I got here? We were before hauling so much ass we had to go back for it. I mean, it was. <laughs> no, wait. I don't know, but we're moving. Guys. So about what time did you get guys get in? Uh, about an hour ago. About an hour ago. Oh really? So yeah. So you, so you actually did get in before I even got here then. Yeah. Hey. Well, we made it to. Uh, Doing almost everything, the zip line, the boat, but we have only one bike for a team of two that's kind of hard to ride. Yeah, so would you so just piggyback? Why'd you guys do it? What happened? <laughs> push each other. Oh one really? Push for until until um, until uh, John finally told Laura to come pick us up. Yeah. So for like over three hours we would just Oh wow. Whatever. The is fun and then they made a single speed, but even the single speed even the single speed like gears were all bent up and it wouldn't even the pedal won't turn. Oh wow. Yes. Yeah, he's gonna have to have an overhaul. I'll go to a whole new thing. That sucks. But what do you think the hardest part of the course was? There was a trail that we were not supposed to be on, but it was not on our map. It was not marked on our map. So when we got to that trail, uh, that was the BMT. The BMT, what is BMT it for, yeah, the, probably the Bushy Mountain Trail. Bushy Mountain Trail. Uh, <laughs> I would guess. <laughs> no, no, no. The Bitch Mountain. Trail. We were on Bushy Mountain. No, nah, it's something else. I forget the name. Whatever. Wood Creek Church. I don't know. We uh, anyway. So we saw that trail and we panicked and we turned around and started going the other direction. We proceeded to climb over a mountain that everybody else just went around. And on the way back to the... Do you think, I mean, in hindsight, was climbing over it smart? No. But probably know. not. It was a panic move. Yeah. It was a panic move. But, you know, it was kind of adding a degree of difficulty to the to the race. Kind of like the marathon bars being taken away. And when we found the road we were supposed to go to, we decided to cut through somebody's yard. It was a nice trailer park. We thought, oh, well, we'll just cut through here. And we got chased out by a very angry corgi-type dog. Corgi? Corgi. Had to jump over a creek, scramble up another hill, and then we got back to the road that we should have been on to begin with. Do you think maybe he wanted your your map? He thought it was a newspaper? We are right we yeah, once you get to the top of the mountain, you just zoom down to the bottom of the mountain and it's like what, three minutes on the bike, two minutes on the bike? Yeah. It took us like twenty minutes to get done because we're on foot. Hmm. And we had to go back around, find our bike, you know, un, you know, take the pine leaves, pine needles and leaves and stuff off the off our bikes. Go so back is up, that why you guys were hill? Is that where you were hesitant to take that other like wooded area shortcut that we were talking about before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're like, maybe we when, shouldn't do that again. When you said cut through these woods, and I went, I don't know what woods, <laughs> we just stayed on the road. It's tough when you get out there and you're like, I don't know where we are. I have a map. I have a compass. I have a compass, but yeah, that, I don't know where I am. I think the biggest problem was we, we kept on we kept underestimating our distance. So we would go and go and go and we're like, the checkpoint has to be here. And we finally, we finally figured out that we were, the checkpoint wasn't around. We only went half the distance we thought we went. That happened, what, two or three times? Three or five. Yeah. We were looking. It, it kind of helps when you, yeah, it helps when you, when you, when you read, when you, when you, yeah, you put the, the appropriate clues. Right, the, yeah, same clue, right clue with the right checkpoint. And we failed to do, do that. We just got confused with what checkpoint we were on. <laughs> it was a lot like, a lot like last night. Remember, we got confused quite a bit. Is, is, is Does it have anything to do with um, Jensen, like if you do Cindy or an AMRAP and you're not quite sure what round you're on? Not sure if you're on round seven or eight? 
It's a little bit like that. It's like, but you, you aren't quite what you aren't quite sure what gym you're in, actually. <laughs> it's more <laughs> like that, not knowing what gym you're in. I got you. It's like doing Cindy for nine hours straight. Right, it's like doing Cindy for nine hours straight. Right, it's like doing Cindy for nine hours straight. Right, Harder with the two poles than you do. All right, now walk back on your hands. <laughs> 